welcome to the another edition of tools and techniques this is a place where we have a quick informal look at tools and techniques used by professional developers and this time i wanted to discuss about lotty let's assume that you are building a mobile application with a splash screen and then you navigate to a screen with a progress bar and then show the information you can improve this by adding some animation to it for example the same screen can be made to look like this with a beautiful animation in the splash screen and then the same progress can be replaced with something more beautiful well the obvious question in your mind is how did we do this what is the new thing that we have added in the application which makes this beautiful animation possible well the answer is lotty well if you start searching for lotty this is what it throws up in google it's basically a animation library by airbnb and you can use it in your application in a plug and play fashion and they provide quite a number of animations and you can uh, download them and use it most of the animations for free of cost for example you can go here and search for say loading animation and it will basically shows various loading animations that are available on their website in the same way you can go for say exploding animation and then it will just throw up certain set of files that they have posted out there on their website now the question is how do i use this particular animation in my application it's pretty straightforward all you have to do is choose any of the animation file so in this case i had chosen this particular one so you can go to this particular file and then download the json file once you download this particular json file you have to place it in the raw folder of your android application so let me show that in the code so this is the plain simple layout file which doesn't have the lottie animation added to it so what i will do is i will switch the branch in git i have another branch called as splash animation let me switch it now you can see that i have now added another view called as lottie animation view in the main activity in the same way for another layout file for the progress bar i have replaced the progress bar with the another lottie animation view well i was able to add this particular lottie animation view because i have added the appropriate dependency well what is that dependency if you go to the build gradle file you will see that now i have added this com.airbnb android colon lottie and a particular version well depending upon the year that you are looking at this particular video the version might actually change but just do a online search to find out which is the most appropriate version that you need to use so the first step that you have to do in your application to add lottie is you have to add this particular gradle dependency and after that the second step is you need to download the json file which represents that animation file and place it in the raw folder so you you can see here in the res raw folder i have placed exploding animation.json and loading circle.json if you want to have a look at it you can have a look at it most of it won't make sense to us but one thing that you can rest be assured is this is a working animation file from the lottie and after that in the layout file you have to use the lottie animation view and it is just like any other normal view it has a id layout width layout height and then certain attributes which are specific to lottie for example you will see this thing called as lottie auto play so when the animation loads do you want to automatically start the animation i have set it as true and do you want this particular lottie animation to continuously loop so i want this to go in a continuous loop so that is why i have set it to true the most important part now is the lottie raw resource and that is where i am referring to json file that we had downloaded in the raw folder that is what this file is referring to i have done the same case with the main activity in the splash screen and also in the second screen for the progress bar i have replaced it with lottie animation with the loading circle which is a another lottie animation json file and now if you go to the main activity you can just refer it as a 
normal view you can still invoke find view by id just like you would invoke on any view and you can see that i have used certain methods on the plotty animation view like for example i am setting how often should be the repeat count of this particular animation so just explore the plotty animation view api to understand which are all the different methods that you can invoke there and what it means to use those things so i suggest you spend more time with it and in the second activity also what i have done is just kept the progress bar animation visible or invisible depending upon my particular logic and that's it everything else is taken care of now if i run this particular application you will see the lotty animation being loaded on the splash screen and then when i navigate to next screen the new progress bar and then the information so lotty animation makes your ui beautiful the number of options they have in terms of what you want to achieve in your ui is quite huge you can just search for one particular thing that you might be interested in but just ensure that you don't go overboard with these things just because these animations are there you don't have to use them be very careful or use them only if it makes sense in the context of your application needing it so that's it that's what i wanted to discuss about lotty animation so i hope that you found this useful let me know in the comment section and i will meet you with the regular tutorial series in the next video stay tuned bye that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye